So in this video, we are going to see about the one address instruction. In the last video, we have seen the zero address. Now we'll see the one address instruction. So his, in this case, the accumulator is implied. There is no explicit reference to accumulator. The other registers only will be implied. Any memory or one registers will be referred. So implicitly, the accumulator will be called for doing the manipulations. So one operand is in the accumulator, the other is in the register or memory location. This is one. So now let us take add x. Add x means x may be a memory. So for example, uh, when I give add x means the, the information which is present in that memory location will be added to the accumulator. See here, it is no accumulator is not explicitly defined, given. Accumulator, you can say it as an ACR. A, registered A. So here AC equal to AC plus MX. This is what done. When this instruction is given, this is what done. That is the value in the accumulator is added with the memory location given here. Suppose the memory location is 2000 means the data present in this will be added with the accumulator. So 11 plus 5 will be added and it will be present in the accumulator. So after this addition 11 plus 5, it is 16 will be stored in the accumulator. That is the meaning. So now let us take the same example, the simplex expression. Now, these are all the notations used. Now we'll see the how you can use using a one address instruction. First, we have to do, we have to load the value of accumulator. Load it. The, in the accumulator, the value, respective value of this is loaded. Say register A consists of five. Okay, so after execution, uh, here, Accumulator will consist of either. First, the load the value of accumulator with the value. Now, add B. Add B means here B register is having some value. Accumulator A is having value B, C, D. These are all stored in registers and this is memory locations. So, load A means after loading this register, this value will be stored in accumulator. Then, add B. Add B means the value which is stored in B is added with the accumulator. So, now what is it in accumulator? Accumulator consists of already five. Okay, so AC plus MB it means memory, whatever it is stored in memory is six. So five plus six is stored and it is stored back in accumulator. There is no explicit uh, uh, instruction for storing it in accumulator. So automatically, it, the instruction is like this. The value in accumulator and B register stored and stored back in accumulator. That is the meaning. So here you don't give explicit that it, Accumulator has to be stored. By default, it will be stored. The B value will not be modified. Only the accumulator value is modified. Then store that value which is uh, stored in accumulator into the memory location T. Here again, we don't men mention the accumulator. It is implied. Store the value of accumulator in T means here memory of T. Let us say it is 2000. So memory location is temporary memory location given here is 2000. So after the execution of this, the value 11, the added value 11 is stored in the memory location 2000. Then load C, again, this value is loaded into accumulator. So from memory location here, it is stored. Accumulator consists of the value seven. Then add D here, add D. So accumulator plus this D value. So seven plus five, 12 is, again, it is stored in accumulator. Now what you do is uh, multiply the value which is present in accumulator with temporary register, that is uh, temporary memory locations. So that you can give MULT, which means accumulator is already having 12, which is nothing but this value. Then M of T means this A plus B value, which is stored here. So M of T, here you have, so since we have given multi, the address, the value stored in this address will be taken and the value in the accumulator will be multiplied. So this is what, 12 into 11, which is 132. Then finally, we store it in a memory location again mentioned in this m of x here let us say this is a memory location so in that you will be storing this so here advantages fewer bits are needed to specify the address but disadvantages again here also we have to write lot of lines okay long programs then two address instruction the instruction here it uses two address so if you see here we have given only one registers either one register or one memory location Whereas here, we can use two address. So here, R1, R2, these two are register. Right? Two registers we are using. Whereas in the previous one, we have used only one register. Another register is accumulated implied. Okay. So here, we have explicitly given the registers. 
So what is the meaning of this add R1 comma R2 means add the content of R1, register 1 and register 2 and store the value in R1. This is the meaning. When you give like this, this is the meaning. So A plus B, C plus D. Let us take use two address and we'll see how we can achieve the same result. These are all the registers and these are all the memory locations. R1 comma R2 are registers. Now move R1 A. So move R1 comma A means the value stored in 5 is moved to R1, which is nothing but after that, after execution of this line, the R1 consists of 5. Then add R1 comma B. B is having 6. Okay. So R1 is already having 5. So 5 plus 6. 5 plus 6, which is nothing but 11, and it is stored back in R1. That is the meaning. Just now we have seen. So R1 comma B means B plus R1 is done, and the value is stored in R1. Then move the value of C to R2, register. So C, what is the value of C? C is 7. So after the execution of this line, R2 will consist of 7. Then add R2 comma D. D is having the value 5. So after addition, R2 plus D means R2 is having the value, or just now we have moved 7. So 7 plus 5, it is 12. Okay, then multiply the value here. Multiply, because now we have found this value 11, R1, which is present in uh, R1, and then 12 is present in R2. Now what is the next step? We have to multiply these two according to this equation. So give MUL. MUL R1, comma R2 means these two are multiplied and the value is stored in R1. Okay, so now this is how this is the interpretation of the statement. So now 11 into 12, 132. Finally, we can move the value which is stored in R1 because the result is stored in R1. That to a memory location. So M of X. M of X, let us take this as 2001. X is pointing to 001. So after execution of this, the value is stored in. Here, um, the medium size programs you can write when you use two address instructions. Here, but the thing is more bits are needed to specify two address because in order to represent this is an op code and these are all operand. So we need this is a two address instruction. Whereas here we this is a four one address instruction because load A you can represent with a single uh, that is hex number uh, that is eight bit hex number. Whereas here it in it involves writing this involves two memory locations. This is a two address move R one move. R1 will take one memory location and the next, this uh, operand will take another location because this itself is an instruction. This is only a data. This is an instruction. In order to represent this an instruction, we need two memory location. That is why it is called two address. It is stored in two address. That is why it is called a two address instruction. Whereas here, load A, the equivalent load A we have, we can represent it in a single memory location. All these instructions you can represent in a single memory locations. That is why it is a one address instruction. Now we go to three address instruction. Here we need three, we can represent with the three addresses or three registers. Okay, so add R1 comma R2 comma R3 means R3 and R2 are added and the value is stored in R1. See here, that is the meaning. So now we'll execute the same expression with this three address. Now add R1 a comma b a is 5 and b is 6 these two registers values are low added and it is placed in r1 okay so this is the meaning m a plus m d r1 so r2 c comma d now it is added then multiply multiply r1 and r2 and store the value in memory location x this is given as 2001 the very the, you can write short programs but again here it need more memory locations how mem more memory location because for representing add or one together you need one memory address then for representing a alone you need another memory address for b alone then. so for this instruction alone you need three memory locations okay because this itself will occupy eight bit this is another eight bit another eight bit you know memory location occupies eight bits so in e if you want this is actually a 24 bit instruction for this 8-bit, for this 8-bit, for this 8-bit. So you can represent only 8-bit in one single line. So which means you need three locations to represent this single instruction. That is why it is a three-address instruction. Whereas here you can represent along with this 
the, along with this itself you can say it as a uh, one uh, one memory address so move r1 needs one memory location for representing a you need another memory location that is why it is a two address memory locations whereas here it is a single address memory locations and here this is a zero address because it is implied it is a memory operations 